Welcome back to another edition of History in Your Own Backyard. I'm Satoli. Today I'm in Chicago and right behind me is one of the biggest, baddest bridges I've ever seen. Stay tuned and we'll check it out. According to historicbridges.org, the Chicago and Alton Bascule Railroad Bridge was built in 1906 by the American Bridge Company of New York. This Bascule Bridge is 214 feet long and spans Bubbly Creek southwest of downtown Chicago. This is the only bridge of its kind in Chicago and most likely the world. Let me explain. This was the first page bascule bridge erected for railroad use, and at the time, it was the largest bascule bridge in the world. It was patented by John W. Page, a Chicago engineer, and designed by William M. Hughes. Notice the distinctive shaped curvy racks where the pinions run. These were the largest individual sections of structural steel ever fabricated in Chicago at the time, weighing in at 70 tons and measuring over 75 feet in length. The bridge was built to replace this previous bobtail swing bridge built in the 1880s. The former bridge stayed open while the current bridge was constructed. The plan was to close rail traffic for only 24 hours to make the switch for the tracks. Unfortunately, the previous bridge's pin connections were extremely rusted and difficult to remove. As a result, it ended up taking 25 hours to make the switch instead of 24. This bridge no longer raises but still sees rail traffic, although I don't know for how long. Notice the steel is now completely rusted through in some locations. Regarding my comment at the beginning being the only one of its kind, one other similar bridge was constructed. The other bridge was the Holman Avenue Railroad Bridge in Hammond, Indiana. It was constructed in 1909 and in use up until the 1980s when the railroad company CSX gave the bridge to the city of Hammond in 1987. It sat abandoned for years until 2014 when a scrap dealer began dismantling the bridge without a permit or permission. In January 2015, he was ordered to stop work on the bridge when it was discovered that he had already scrapped half of the bridge. The scrap dealer ended up in court where eventually he was sentenced to two years in prison. With the Hammond Bridge gone, this makes the Chicago and Alton Bascule Railroad Bridge the only remaining bridge of its kind. Let me know in the comments below if you remember seeing the Hammond Bridge before it was dismantled. Mm -hmm. 